Hey everyone, King 77 here from the Android Creative Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to flash the ice cream sandwich theme on your Epic Touch 4G. Uh, this theme is courtesy of fellow ACS member, friend of mine, Overstu, so big thanks to him. Uh, you are going to need to be rooted, running Clockwork Mod, and running a DX ROM. So just a heads up there. So click on the link in the description, takes you to the Android Creative Syndicate forum. As I said, big thanks to Overstu right there. Um, so as you can see, ICS for Epic Touch 4G updated yesterday, uh, but it's tested on Starburst ROM um, as well as uh, Viper ROM. So make sure you uh, download the corresponding one. So click the download link if you're running Starburst ROM, click that one if you're running Viper ROM, click that one. So just a heads up there. Uh, once it's downloaded, it's gonna be a zip file. Uh, it's gonna look like this. Right there, ICS Starburst. Just click and drag that over to your SD card. So mount your phone and click and drag that over to your internal storage or your SD card. So just a heads up there, you can do either. But once that zip is on your SD card, you're going to need to uh, boot into Clockwork. So uh, go ahead and power off your phone. I'm running Starburst ROM in case you are wondering. So power off your phone and once it powers off, you're going to need to boot into Clockwork. Now your phone shut off, go ahead and go into clockwork to do so, volume up and power button at the same time. Press and hold both of those. Keep holding it until you get into clockwork. Just keep holding it because it does take a little while. Alright, so now as you can see I'm in clockwork mod recovery now. Uh, what I'm going to have you guys do uh, before you uh, flash this theme, go ahead and go down to wipe cache partition. So select it and then hit yes, wipe cache. So go ahead and wipe your cache partition. Once that's done, go to Advanced and hit Wipe Dalvik Cache. Select that and hit Yes, so Wipe Dalvik Cache. So make sure both of those are wiped. Once both of them are wiped, hit Go Back, hit Install Zip from SD Card, choose Zip from SD Card or choose Zip from Internal SD Card, whichever one you, uh, you put it on, and then navigate to wherever you put that ICS theme on your Epic Touch. So ICS Starburst 1.3.2 and hit yes install so select it and then install it it's going to go ahead and install the theme for you and it says install from SD card complete go ahead and hit go back and then just reboot system now so go ahead and reboot your phone uh, once it boots back up you will be running the ice cream sandwich theme on your uh, epic touch 4g all right, now that your phone's booted up, as you can see, you already can tell it is different looking. Uh, the lock screen itself is different looking. It is themed, so that's very cool. As you can see, the background's themed. Got a nice uh, Nexus-style background right there. The icons are also themed. As you can tell, they do have uh, the ice cream sandwich icons, as you can see by the messaging icon, contacts icon. Basically, they're all themed. Uh, one, I'm going to go ahead and check up at the status bar. Go ahead and look up there. Let's try and get that to focus. But as you can see, hopefully that focuses. Uh, you got uh, gingerbread style battery icon that is uh, blue. A nice ice cream sandwich blue with the uh, battery percentage mod to it. So my battery says 56%. I'm sorry, this isn't focusing, guys. I'm not sure why it's not. But blue signal bars as well. And I believe a 3G icon that lights up blue when you do use data. So just a heads up there. Go ahead and swipe down. As you can see, nice uh, blue and black notification bar. That's It's very cool. Um, that's really nice. Uh, as you can see, it's got a glow at the top that comes down when you bring the notification bar down enough. So that's very nice. Um, other than that, you got blue icons up at the top when selected. Other, otherwise, they're white and uh, not selected. So very nice notification bar. That That's a really cool theme right there. Uh, but anyways, go to the app drawer. Um, as settings is themed, settings icon is themed. As you can see, you got a nice blue scroll bar on the side and nice blue over scroll glow that goes very nicely with the theme. So just a heads up there. I'm gonna go ahead and go to lock screen settings and go to lock screen settings, lock screen style. And you got a bunch of lock screen options that are themed. The first one that you saw was Rotary. I'm gonna go to AOSP unlock, which is the stock Android unlock. So as you can see like there, it is themed. Very cool, those light, uh, white circles so right there and then you got uh, four tab unlock which is the same as AOSP just with added uh, you got you can go straight to the messaging app or you can go straight to your phone app but the same thing sound and unlock you also have honeycomb style unlock 
which basically is this white circle and you just bring it outside the bigger circle which is very cool that's a nice uh, unlock so there you go you got that you got uh, rotary revamped which is the same as the rotary unlock except you have a quick widget quick uh, shortcut to the messaging app right there so that's nice there as well lens unlock same as MIUI unlock except no shortcuts so you just kind of swipe it down and last one epic touch unlock which is stock epic touch unlock right there so same as always very cool but uh, anyways that's just a quick overview of this awesome theme he did a really nice job of theming it the dialer itself is themed as you can see nice black and light blue icons so very cool right there nice job over Stu on this wonderful theme so definitely be sure to check this one out very very nice go ahead over to the ACS forums and check it out it's very cool uh, if you do run into any problems, have any questions at all, feel free to ask. Leave a comment, send me a message. I'll be happy to help you guys out. You can follow me on Twitter at QBKing77. And guys, uh, I do ask, be sure to uh, check out my blog. It's called All Things Android. As you can see, I'll link down in the description of the video. But uh, anyways, uh, be sure to subscribe as well for future how-to videos. And thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked the video. Be sure to thumbs up if you like it.